In northwestern Wyoming, a giant has laid sleeping for nearly 70,000 years. The Yellowstone Caldera, also referred to as the Yellowstone Supervolcano, in Yellowstone National Park, is simultaneously an American icon of tourism and a looming beast capable of massive destruction. A source of both awe and fear, the supervolcano was a hot topic recently when the park saw an unexpected hydrothermal explosion that damaged a boardwalk and threatened nearby tourists. In light of public concern, WVU Eberly College of Arts and Sciences professor of geology, Jamie Toro, explained that the event is merely a reflection of the region's geological composition and does not indicate a greater eruption in the making. The Yellowstone supervolcano rests in a hot spot of molten earth pooling into a magma chamber, the land above rising as the chamber fills and falling as the magma solidifies. Volcano scientists have measured the land's movement for approximately 100 years, and, within the past decade, the volcano has risen at above average rates. Historically, the volcano's eruptions have expelled lethal gases, volcanic ash and debris and magma that blanketed a majority of the continental United States. Evidence of a previous eruption was found as far as Louisiana. Discussions of the supervolcano often theorize on when Yellowstone will next erupt. Although the prospect of a supervolcanic eruption is enough to cause concern, Experts don't find it likely anytime soon, and last week's eruption is not a sign of impending disaster. Hydrothermal explosions are a flashy result of steam in a confined area within a volcano system, leading to rising pressure that creates an eruption of the geyser. Thank you.